There are four angles to this, Robbo, which yep. we'll work through one at a time. The first is the overall picture of Essendon, which was a hot conversation last night, and it's hotter still 24 hours on. Yeah, it is. And really interesting to listen to Dan Richardson. And then I've written a piece in the paper tomorrow, Jared. Is it a coincidence? Is it, right, one, one player wants to go out of the club. For example, McKenna wants to retire. Oh, OK, no worries. Oh, Saab wants to go. Ooh, coincidence? Three. Don't know who wants to go. Well, hang on, this is, this is a bit odd. Fantasia's, he's going. That's certainly their expectation. So that's four. Is that a coincidence? Are they going to say, oh, well, if you don't want to be here, move on? Or is that, is that covering a bigger, bigger problem in Essendon? Whatever Essen believes is happening inside, the belief outside the club is this club's falling apart. That there's a major cultural issue at this club. Now, Paul Brasher, who you interviewed last week, and Paul Brasher did a video to the members, the first item on Paul Brasher's agenda is to do a review of the football department environment and its culture. And to, to, to determine that is it just coincidence that four players want to walk out and a whole heap of players who are upset with the season? Or is it we've got a major problem at this football club? I think that has to be determined. And the Joe Danaher, Adam Sard leaving within 24 hours, I think it's an absolute necessi necessity. I think it's just absolutely paramount that they, they try and learn is there issues at the top? Is the fish rotting at the head? Or is it, oh, well, four players want to leave? We'll leave it at that. So who are the central figures? Always... At all football clubs. Yep. At all football clubs. So the chief executive? Chief executive, the head of football, the coach are the three main ones. Then you throw in the captain, right? Main one. But then it comes down to the board. Don't leave the board out of this. The board sets the culture. And what is culture? What is culture? Culture in any place, let alone a football club, the culture of any place is its people. And the people drive and they, for, they, 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 they f formulate the culture and they breed that culture. And right now, players want to leave Essendon and they've left Essendon. So if the, if the club wants to sit there and say, oh, well, if you don't want to be here, go. Do you really believe that? Does Paul Brescia, the new chairman, really believe, that? oh, well, they want to go, let's get rid of him? Or is it incumbent on him to find out what is wrong with this football club? That's, that's my thinking. How's your thinking on, on, on what's going on? Is it just coincidence or have the, is there underlying issues? No, well, it's not coincidence. It's how widespread Absolutely. is it? If you don't know the answer to that, you must find out the answer mm. to that. So does it end here? Does it extend to Hooker and Hurley? Where does it sit with a player like Merritt? So when I spoke to Brasher, I said to him, my... Oh, there's speculation and then there's what will happen. If a player like Zach Merritt was contemplating his future at Essendon, I'd be on the phone. I, I would want to know and then work backwards from there. Merritt... Sard's one step short of Merritt, so they're not far from being there already. Merritt... Merritt has been asking questions in the last couple of weeks. Part of my piece tomorrow... I actually think the Sard's signature is important but not that big. Joe Danaher's signature... Really important, not that big. The next signature at Essendon, which will, if he doesn't sign... They're going to offer him a contract extension. My belief is going to be about 500 between 8 and 900. And he deserves it. He's the best player at Essendon, Zach Merritt. Now, they're going to offer him this deal in the next couple of weeks. If Zach Merritt says, I'm not signing that, I'll, I'll wait, I'll send my contract out and I'll decide at the end of the next year, well, well the emergency lights are on. That'll lay bare the cultural problems at Essen if the best player wants to leave that club. So that 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 that, that meeting with Merritt is huge. And if Essen don't think they've got a problem now, they'll certainly know they've got a problem if Merritt says, no, nah, I'm not signing that. I'm not signing that. If he signs it, that's the best news that Essen can possibly yep. get that Zach Merritt is going to commit himself to this football club for the next Five years. Yep. It's a big period for the Bombers. The second is Danaher. So uh, there's no hindsight in this, is my view. Absolutely, at the time, it was the wrong decision to hold him at Essendon yep. for a year. And if they did it in the hope that they would change his mind, they failed. Yep. They would have ended up with a better deal previously than they will do this time around. What do you read into... So, da I read Sam Landsberger's piece. 
who had a really lovely devil, level of detail on Super Footy. He said he was fed up with the medical side of things and had been for a long time. That's I think we can understand mm. that from the outside. He hadn't been able to get out there in a manner that he wanted to. That's and interesting the because he didn't some... really believe he'd, he'd lost faith in the direction along the way. Now, he has a role in that, incidentally. Uh, no doubt he does. But, no doubt he does. Uh, this is he wanted out. It's bad policy to hold people against their will. And this is what it leads to. They lived their year in limbo. Yeah, they did. If they had their time again, hand on heart, what would Adrian Dodoro say? What would Xavier Campbell say if they were sitting here right now? Did we do the right... Did we make the right decision last year? It's interesting that um, Joe Danner might say to people, oh, I was really disappointed with the Essendon Medical. I mean, Essendon flew more around the world to try and fix his groins. And there's a bit coming back the other way. I mean, Brendan Goddard, who I really respect, he's a member of the AFL 360, played 300 games, he gave everything to football. And Brendan Goddard questioned Joe's application yep. in rehabbing himself. So Joe can might tell people, well, no, nah, I'm really disappointed with Essendon. Really? And then Brendan Goddard says, hang on, Joe, did, you didn't do your rehab... Did you work as hard as you possibly could to get your body right for the football club who's paying you $800,000. And if Joe Danner was sitting there and we had him on a lie detector test, we said, did you work hard enough? He, would, he may well probably say no. So, I mean, it works both ways. It Maybe does. his heart wasn't it and Essendon made the wrong decision. It's just been a... Mis, probably a mistake from... Or well, errors made on both sides. So the third is the Lions. The Lions are the awesome. club of choice. Is what, what's, your, what's your read on that? My read on that is four years ago this football club was on its knees. We're going to talk about culture, Jared. Let's talk about culture. You barrack for Geelong. Geelong have got a great culture. And that great culture has been around for 14, 15, 16 years. And when you've got great culture at your football club, you don't take it for granted, but you don't know anything else. You just should be so proud that the, the pillars that you've got at your place, like the people we know at Geelong, you know, from Frank and Boller and all the way through and Chris and Cookie and... So Brisbane were on their knees four years ago, three years ago. They were able to get Chris Fagan, uh, Greg Swan to the club. Then they got Chris Fagan. Then Chris Fagan got Luke Hodge. And guess what? Lock and Neil said, geez, I'd love to play with Luke Hodge. Yep. And David Noble in there. And David well Noble, the... come on. Yep. And people want to go to Brisbane. And, he, and look at the Brisbane culture. Made up of people. Good people. So I look at Brisbane and say, why wouldn't you want to go to Brisbane and play footy? So they picked up Joe Danaher. Probably a five-year deal. I think Sam Landsberg is going with that tomorrow or he's already filed that for Super Footy. Five-year deal, about six fifty. Um, slot into that forward line. So you got who do you want to play on today? Eric Hipwood yeah. or Joe Danaher? 